The Green Party wants to be a viable alternative to the two major parties in the United States. But party leaders say in order to do so, it must expand its traditional base and change outside perception. That means confronting some criticisms that the party could do more to address diversity. FSRN's Michael Lawson reports. What image do people have in their minds when thinking of the Green Party? A bunch of environmentalists, probably old hippies. Erica Wolf wants to change that perception of the party. She's an associate campaign manager for Green Party presidential candidate Jill Stein. The campaign wants to create 100 active campus chapters of the Green Party by this fall. We want to have a strong, visible presence of young people who are saying the Green Party is not a bunch of old hippies. You know, we are, we are young people, we're 18, we're 20, we're 30, and we get that this political system is broken. The Occupy movement illustrated a generation's frustration with a political and economic system that a growing number of people say isn't working for them. Asher Platz says he's experienced that frustration. After working for Democratic Party causes since finishing high school, the 29-year-old became active in the Green Party in 2008. He participated in Occupy D.C. and said his experiences there led to his current run for state senate in Portland, Maine. I just saw the Green Party as being the political party arm of that movement. You know, we've been fighting for the past 20 years to get corporate money out of politics, to um, have a cooperative economy instead of this, this casino economy that we have right now. Platts helped to form a youth caucus at this year's Green Party nominating convention. He and the party have also worked to form Green Party groups in high schools and colleges in Maine. Wolf and Platts are hopeful that when people learn more about the Green Party and what it represents, the message will resonate as an alternative that crosses party lines. The nation's changing demographics are in the forefront this election season, with both mainstream parties vying for the Latino vote, the fastest growing group in the country. The Stein campaign is staffing Spanish-speaking workers and aims to offer campaign materials in multiple languages. They're hoping to attract more voters like Angel Torres, co-chair of the Arizona Green Party. He says his own frustration with politics brought him to the party 20 years ago. I got tired of the Democratic Party taking my vote for granted, not only as a Latino, but also as a, uh, a labor union member. The Green Party platform is based on 10 key values, including grassroots democracy, respect for diversity, and community-based economics. Torres was attracted to the party's adherence to its value system. The Green Party, we live our values. It's not just talk. We're not just saying what we say just to get elected. Whereas the Democrats make a lot of promises, but they don't follow through. But the party is not immune to discord. Co-chair of the National Green Party and Roseanne Barr supporter Farheen Hakim caused a stir at the convention on Saturday when she publicly accused members of the party of racism and exclusion of people of color. Her accusations were quickly and furiously refuted by other party members of every stripe. Karen Morian, a Green candidate for Florida State Senate, sees in the dust-up the growing pains of a party that is becoming more inclusive. She says she hopes to use her campaign to bridge the gaps to build a united progressive voting bloc. I want the black community talking to the gay community, talking to the environmentalists about the toxic waste that's getting dumped in the yard or about their kids that are getting bullied at school. That should all be happening in conversation. When they can keep people apart and have them not talk to each other and not reach out to each other, they win because we're divided. The Green Party currently holds 134 offices in 24 states. The party hopes to expand its electoral base by running nearly 200 candidates across the country in this November's elections. Michael Lawson, FSRN, Baltimore.